Hey guys, I wanted to discuss briefly this MRI finding of a patient who presents with difficulty naming objects. In addition, he has difficulty with the executive function, planning and staging. And it appears that he has some sort of a cognitive disorder. Uh, so at first glance, uh, these sagittal, as we call it, T1 images, show a, quite a bit of atrophy of the brain, meaning there is thinning of the cortical structures and there is increased uh, widening of the sulci uh, and at first glance you may not appreciate a huge discrepancy between the different lobes such as the prefrontal cortex or for example the temporal lobe as we scroll through here however if we uh, look at other slices including uh, these axial t2 images what you can see uh, perhaps is that there has been some thinning of the temporal lobes and the prefrontal cortex, but even this is not enough to really convince us. But with the advances in quantitative imaging, we can now precisely evaluate the exact uh, volume of structures and how they compare with the average population in their aged match controls. And if we look at that, you can see that uh, the <clears throat> um, temporal lobes are actually in the fifth percentile, which means that uh, this patient is having a significant atrophy or shrinkage of the temporal lobe. In addition to that, you can see that there is a relatively significant reduction in volume for the frontal cortex at 24th percentile. Meanwhile, the hippocampi are also reduced, but not uh, in a significant or a magnitude of significant concern. If we look at uh, more precise quantitative measures, you can see that the there are parts of the temporal lobe that are less than the 10th percentile, including the superior temporal gyrus, the middle temporal gyrus, and the inferior temporal gyrus. And so uh, the MRI has helped us in this context when done in a quantitative, more precise way to in fact recognize that this patient may be suffering from frontal temporal dementia. And in fact, uh, there is a variant of frontal temporal dementia that leads to trouble with names, trouble with finding words, language deficits, and then later on, patients developed, develop behavioral deficits. I hope this is of interest. Thank you so much.